Everyone, once again, thank you for watching. This is Bruce Muffson from Sunridge of Nevada with another video for you. Today's topic is going to be something a little bit different. I'm combining Nerve the movie that just came out about a week, a week ago, a week and change, and Casper Knight, who on July 25th became famous or infamous, depending on how you're looking at it, by shooting himself in the cheek with an attention to draw his music career as a rapper. Here we go. I'm going to start off with Casper Knight, then I'm going to go into the movie, then I want to kind of meld the two and talk how the two of them are eerie similar and very much like art imitating life, life imitating art. Casper Knight is from New Haven, and this, the incident though happened in, in Indianapolis. On July 25th, he was in a car, you see this, you, see this, you know, the video was posted, and you hear this, he picks up a, a handgun and shoots himself through his cheek. The guy riding with him says out loud, you did it? And he, then you hear him say, I don't give an F about nothing anymore. That's the exact quote. And then the car is speeding up and he says, I'm bleeding. And he said that the bullet did not go through his other cheek. He actually swallowed the bullet. And why did he do it? He said it was just to get attention. He's had, he has a fledgling rap career up and running. He wants to get attention to see what he's doing. And since that time, millions have watched this video online. It's only about 34 seconds of him shooting himself. He's had 2 million views on Facebook. So in a sense, you have to agree it was successful. He did it for a music video, and he said he could not get a local photographer to even agree to do this. So he took an, you know, he took an IP phone, an IP camera, and he's hoping to get a record deal out of this. And people are asking, you know, was it a real gun? Actually, it looks like it's a starter pistol. Had it been a real handgun, it would have blown his cheek open and gone through the other, other side of his cheek. So it seems that from people who were writing in the comments, it was a starter pistol. Here's what I wanted to say, though. I mean, I saw the video about 10 times. I was reading all the different news feeds about it. I was watching talk shows. Most of everyone talking said the same thing. He's crazy. He's sane insane, oh, he bit the bullet, you know, stuff like that, and condemnation, but he did get a lot of notoriety out of it, so in a way, he was successful. I want to give you one example. I was watching a show, a cable TV show, international, I'm sorry, an internet show called Double Toasted Dot Highlight. They had 55,000 subscribers. They talked about him for 17 minutes. So they were, and, and they were all kind of like ragging on him, making fun of him, saying how stupid it was. He likes Papa Roach. He's a Donald Trump supporter. They had some of his music on. They were laughing at it, laughing at him. But he got 17 minutes out of it. So in a way, in a lot of ways, he was very, very successful. So people look at these things and say, like, there's no notoriety being notorious. There is. Now, I want to go to a movie called Nerve that came out just about a week ago, We Can Change. The concept of nerve, and let me, before I even get started, I am not ripping this movie because I now know from doing these videos how hard these videos are to do. So, guys, I respect you. You made a movie outstanding. All the power to you. But the plot of nerve is this watchers pay to watch, players play to win. You need watchers, in a sense, more than you need players because you have to have people watching to get the game interesting and motivated and exciting. What age do they target? Kids almost out of high school, which is the perfect age. You're not sure of yourself, your identity, your ego, who you are. You know, nervous, no identity yet. So they want you to be shocking and provocative. So they have like them doing like these various, you know, dares, such as eating dog food, being on a police car, showing your butt, jumping in water, which essentially, if you think about it, that's what YouTube is already of teenagers doing these kinds of things all over the world. And the way they look at it is, life is online 24-7. And Casper Knight, in a sense, indirectly or directly showed that that's true. We look at our life today 24-7 online. Now, in the movie, of course, everyone is young and pretty. Uh, there's first love, lots of emotions, which is what you have to have to make it work. Now, here's what's interesting also. In the movie, you have all these almost high school graduate kids no adults, really no rules, lots of freedom. In real life, Casper found out, though we got 2 million views, though we got a lot of attention, he got condemnation. So real life and social media life is sometimes the two do not get along because they're very, very different. In real life, you do things like that, there are consequences. 
In the movies, it just blanks. But in real life, you get ringing in your ears because you have a concussion, and you have to go to the hospital because you're bleeding. Now, what they did well is that they make it a competition, this game. And they slowly up the ante. And you make it, you know, you have comments, you want to make it interactive. What they start to get you to realize is everyday life is now an adventure and sport when you have something involved in it that you can relate to, that you're betting on, that you're cheering on, that you're voting on. And games on social media today understand that more than ever, and that's why they're so popular. Because now what you're doing in everyday life, which might be to most people boring and dull, if you're doing things that are risky and dangerous, it's exciting. Also, though, it's very clever in the movie. There's a section where they say, if you want to follow your favorite person, it's $19.99, you can follow them for a day. Subscription. How many online situations you have that now, subscriptions for the week, for the, you know, for the day, even for the month, year, where you can subscribe on limited content. And what you start doing also is you up the ante. You start making it interactive. You make it multiplayer. Now it's not just rooting for one person, rooting for 10, 15, 20, 100 people. Eventually games are going to be worldwide where it's not just rooting for people in, literally in your city, people you'll be rooting for in the Middle East, Europe, Asia, just a matter of time. And what you're looking at is that when you're locked watching these games now, it's not just, I'm not just looking, I'm part of the game. I have a chance for sidebar comments. I have a chance for betting. I have a chance for voting. I can make what I, my, my distinctions about them. If I'm funny enough, uh, people respond to my own comments. So now, I'm not, I'm not just looking at the game, I'm in the game. I'm a voyeur with a purpose. Now, what also the game does very well, what the movie does from the game, is that views equal confidence. So you notice that also with anything that you do today. How many views do you get? Views equal popularity. Views equal ad clicks. Views equal more subscribers. Hey, if you're watching it, he's watching it, well, then I have to watch it. Adds to the views. Adds to the person's confidence. I'm a winner. I'm successful. Look how many people follow me. And in fact, in the media, we have so many people that base their worth in a sense of how much endorsements they're going to get, what kind of deals they're going to get on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Reddit, YouTube. How many views am I getting? How many followers? So you up the ante. And of course, what you have to do is now it becomes almost risky. In the movie Life or Death, it becomes part of the action. And the more interactive you can make it, hey, I'm watching, I'm typing, I'm voting, I'm playing, I'm buying, I'm bidding, you now are part of something bigger than yourself. That's what these games are very good at doing, and social media is doing that as well. You pick, you decide, what's your choice, what's your opinion. Even something as simple as a color, as what kind of car, what kind of glasses, anything, you decide what the person should be. That's very, very powerful. That's a group collective when before you were a single individual and maybe you're not happy with yourself, but boy, I am really powerful in the game. And that's why even when you go into the dark side, people that do stalking, scamming, spamming, you can be for anonymous from your own home, own living room, and send out literally millions of these spam attacks to attack people, hurt people. Now, you have this concept also of the hive mentality. What Nerve did very well was everyone is equal. As long as you have a phone, as long as you're connected to the game, you're as good, your vote, your thoughts are just as relevant as the thousands of other people that were playing this game. It's a very smart concept. When you make it, when you get away from class systems, that if you pay your amount of money, you pay what you need to do, and that you're part of the game, wow, that is very, very strong. And they understand that, and that's what made the movie kind of appealing for kids who want to fit in, who want to belong. Oh, you play the game, you play the game, you play the game, you play the game. That's why when you watch games now today, so often it's like that group participation. Because if you can get a group involved, you become that much stronger in getting your aims across. Another thing also is, your life is now an open book. Everything that you do is noticeable and available and could be critiqued endlessly. If you can't handle being in a fishbowl, don't do it because that's what's going to happen 24-7, i.e. the Kardashians. But they accept that because they understand there's a payoff at the end, so they literally open up their lives to be seen. That's why you have dozens of reality shows every year where today people have no embarrassment, no shame in letting people see what they do on a daily basis because the premise is 
that now I live an open book, and what I do is interesting to you. You can vote, comment, and do everything about me, for me, to me, because you're interactive. It's the hive mentality. And also, what's important is always, if possible, no adults around because they're boring, they're old, and they don't get it. The phone today is now today's ID. It's no longer a way of greeting each other. There's no longer like clothing that defines you. Your religion, your tribe, where you're from, that's gone. Today it's the phone. And now we communicate and we show our like for each other by joining groups based on what our likes and interests are via our phone, via our apps, via our media interests. And that's how people really relate today more than anything else. Don't want to talk to you, but I'll text you. You're part of my inner texting circle. But the old days of like, where are you from, where are you from? It's like, what are you like on your phone? What, do you, what kind of media do you like to consume? And do we consume the same type of media? So that's really the new way of greeting each other. The phone really now is your new official ID. And what they're doing is they're giving you that, they're giving you drama, they're giving you a movie, they're giving you content via video. Because your own life is not interesting anymore, but someone else is. And because it's more interesting than your life, you want to get involved on your level. So don't forget, though, stardom will eat you up, but everyone's a player. That's the movie did a good job in showing you that once you had the chance to vote, pick, choose, you know, the, the top people, there's a consequence to that. But everyone is a player who's watching. Even TV shows today now, if you watch them, they're always saying, like, make your vote, make your vote. Your vote counts, your vote counts. Because when you have a visceral attachment to the players, then you understand, you know, wow, I'm, I want to be invested. I want to see what's going to go on. What's also interesting in the movie was Anonymous. They hide yourself with the masks and hoodies. And both Casper Knight, he had a gun, and the players, the top players in the end, had guns too. And what you want to try and understand is that what's the message that they, that they push at the end? Be yourself. One of the things we're trying to do here with these videos is to make people realize something, is that ultimately we want you to be who you are. We get it that you want to be online, but the whole idea is you want to be able to be in real life, do things on, you know, as is. Now, where's the parallels from Casper Knight to the movie? Both the movies and the video had a starter pistol involved, although that wasn't really confirmed, but what people were reading in the comments was that Knight shot himself with a starter pistol. Provocative acts do get attention. I mean, that's very, very obvious to me. Two million views on Facebook. And it's interesting. I spoke to older people about this guy, what he did, and they're like, he's nuts. He's crazy. He's insane. Younger people, cool. I saw the video. I can relate. Man, I wish... Can you send it to me? Can you send me the link? Very natural. It's accepting. It's an older generation versus a newer generation on how we consume media and how we consume disturbing content. I mean, the average person is like, the guy's going to shoot himself, my God. Younger generation, no problem. Send me the link. Wow, that's cool. And who I am is not good enough. Like Casper, to give him his credit, whether you like his music or not, whatever, blah, blah, blah. The guy has made music. But who I am, my inner me, is not good enough anymore. I need to not be me to be me. Because if I'm just me, I'm not interesting. But if I'm taking dare after dare, I'm shooting myself through my cheek, I'm doing something wild and dangerous on, on YouTube, I'm not me, I'm another me. And for teens watching this, this is the hardest part and easiest thing to master. It's the yin-yang of personalities. Be yourself. Pimples and all. I was going to say what, but when you're a teenager, you get pimples. We get, you know, we get the social media. I get it. 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 Like, like, like. Don't let it consume you. Don't let it get to the point that it's so cloaking you as a person that people can't see the real talents and skills that you do possess. They're never going to learn who you are. In a sense, that sidebar when you make contacts about people, comments about people, it's, it's like you can throw a rock from a distance and not really let yourself open up.
But what we're saying to you, people that are watching this, is don't be afraid to express vulnerability. And I know as a teenager, that's the worst thing I can just say to anybody. You know, show who you really are. You know, warts and, I'm sorry, pimples and all. But I get that. And in the end, what happens at the end of the movie? She says to the, the guy, of course, now she's in love with, I want to, I want, you know, when are we going to get together? And he goes, I'm not, I'm not going to do this anymore. I, I want to see you. I want to see you. I don't want to just do this anymore. But that's artificial. I want the real you. And that's how it ends. And, you know, you can look at this, and the movie was good. You know, I could, you could say, like, what, what are real dares? All right? Real dare might be avoid getting shot in Fallujah as a kid. You know, how about not getting raped and killed in El Salvador from a cartel gang and your 13-year-old girl? Or how about making it to Italy in a leaking boat from Libya? But this is a movie, and we're not here to, and the, I'm not knocking the movie in the slightest. We understand reality and fantasy. What's a real dare? What's, you know, what's not? But it was interesting to me because it showed me the power of understanding the parallels of what is that people, particularly young people, are looking for. All I'm saying to you is this. We're not taking away your phones. God forbid, I don't want to cause rioting. I'm just saying it's okay to be vulnerable with your best friends who are not going to put you online, not going to put you on blast, and it's okay to be who you want to be because the more you expose yourself in a healthy way, in a normal way, the more your friendships will be that much more satisfying rich and will stand the test of time and won't disappear at the end of a text. This is Bruce Muffson from Sunridge of Nevada. I just want to share again, we have um, merchandise coming out. We want your comments. We want your comments. We're getting more and more of them and things are continuing to happen on our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great one. Bye.